Hey Chess World, it's A Little Knight here. Today, I'm gonna review the Wholesale Chess Basic Digital Game Timer. Now the main points that I'm gonna hit in this video are the price, the design, and the user friendliness of the device. And that is pretty much why I almost always recommend this to all, my, all the parents of the students that I teach and uh, lovely chess players because it's so cheap, so lightweight. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that. All right, first thing is the price. So you can get it from Wholesale Chess themselves and you can also get it from Amazon. If you're gonna get a Wholesale Chess, it's gonna be $21.99. If you get it from Amazon, it's gonna be $18.99 or $18.49. The prices, they fluctuate from time to time. Um, however, if you're gonna get it from Wholesale Chess, being that they are a wholesale website, the more you buy, the less you pay. So if you're gonna get four or more, it's gonna be $20.99. If you're gonna get 10 or more, it's gonna be $19.99. Um, and if you get more than that, it goes down to $18.49, I think. Uh, I will put the links to both of those websites where to get the clocks from Amazon and Wholesale Chess in the description down below so you can see for yourself. Go ahead and fact check me. Um, all right, so that's price. Secondly, we're gonna talk about the design itself. So this is the box that comes in. It's very, very small and it's very sturdy. It's, it's, it's gonna be an excellent permanent storage for your chest clock. You don't have to worry about it getting dinged up. You can even fit this, you can fit the clock in the box inside of your chest bag if you have one. Uh, okay. And the clock is very lightweight and it's very small. And that means if you drop it, it's most likely not going to break because it's, it's, there's not a lot in there and it's very, very small. Um, and that's very good because if you're a parent and you're thinking about getting your child a chess clock, but they're clump, well, you don't want them to, to break it, they, I would get this one because you don't have to worry because it's, it's lightweight. It's not going to break as easily as one of the more expensive chess clocks that are on the market. And if you're also worried about bang for your buck, this clock has bonus and delay, so you don't have to worry about that. This clock does a lot of things that these more expensive clocks can do in the $40, $50, and $60 price range. And this clock is very, very good. Alright, and now we're going to talk about the features, and then we're going to jump to the tutorial on how to use this bad boy. Alright, so first things first. By far the most convenient thing about this chess clock is it uses a single double a battery thank goodness i have a, a z mart 2 and that thing takes four c batteries i don't know why i don't think a chess clock should have that many batteries in that size this is perfect you're almost always going to have one of these laying around the house and not it's a lot easier to get one of these than the bigger batteries oh okay okay this specific clock has a lever unlike buttons uh, uh, other clocks and it has a three buttons to control the clock whenever you're resetting it whenever you're using it so whenever you're gonna reset whenever you're gonna set your time this button adds time this one subtracts time and this is your pause and this is also your reset button and the on and off switch is located at the bottom of the clock okay so now I'm gonna get up close and personal with the camera we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to how to use this clock all right, and we're back. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use this clock. All right, so this clock will not come with the battery. If it does, great. If it doesn't, you have to put one in. All right, so go ahead and pop in your AA battery. You're going to hear a beep. That means your clock is ready to go. We're ready to start our first time control. All right, so the first number is going to be for hours. The second set of numbers is for minutes, and this is for seconds. And now, whenever you turn your clock on, it's going to have a bunch of zeros. To set your clock, you're gonna press and hold the middle button for a few seconds, and it's gonna start blinking. And once it starts blinking, that means it's ready to be set. So, the plus button adds time, and the minus button subtracts time. And for our, our example time control, I'm actually going to go with a 25 minute game with a five second delay. So we don't want any hours. So we're gonna press the middle button and that's gonna take us to the minutes. Okay, now our tens place minute is blinking. So 25 minutes, so I'm gonna press the plus button twice. One, two, now we're at the 20 minutes. 
Now I want to go over one. So I'm going to press the middle button to go forward. Now the once place is blinking. So I want 25 minutes. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now we're good for the, the, the meat of the time control. And once we're done with our minutes, we're going to keep pressing the button, middle button until the right side of the clock sets itself. Because it'll automatically set to whatever the left side is. And you can customize it. Let's say you're doing a time on to one of your students or one of your friends. And you have, they're going to have 25 minutes and you only want uh, 5 minutes. Then you can do that. You can do whatever you want with this clock. This clock is great. Okay, just like that. And then you would press the middle button and you would continue. But this is going to be, we're going to pretend this is for a tournament game. So once we're done with that, we're just going to keep going. And this is... First, you're going to get into the bonus section. So, this is where you add your bonus. You can add up to 59 seconds of bonus if you want. But we're not going to do bonus in this game. This game, we're going to go for delay. So, you're going to keep pressing the middle button until you get to the zero. Make it blink. And then we're going to press it one more time. And now we are in the delay section. And now we want five seconds of delay. So, we're going to press the middle button once. And now we're going to press this button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We're going to press it once and this side should set. And now once you have your desired time control, you're going to go ahead and press and hold the middle button. And you're good to go. All right. So now we're going to talk about resetting it. Let's say it's been used for a while. Okay. And I'm going to let a one second drain on the left side as well. Okay. Just flip it over and turn it off and turn it back on. And it should be reset to the time control. Now, if for whatever reason, you just want to... Oh, and if you want to reset it again, you just do what we did before. Press and hold. And you can change it to whatever time control you want. Let's say you want to add an increment to, the, to this game. Just keep going. And since taking the bonus, let's say we want a 10 second increment, we can do that. Make this into a 10. And whenever you have a bonus, it will override the delay. The delay will delete itself. And likewise, if you have a bonus, but you want a delay instead, you just skip straight through the bonus and go to the delay and it will it'll delete the bonus. You can't have both of them at the same time. So once we're done, we're going to press and hold. And now we got our increment. Okay. Just like that. And if you want to just reset the clock, brand new factory reset, all you gotta do is pop out the battery, pop it back in, you're gonna hear a beep. Okay, and your clock has been reset. All right, that's about it for this review and this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe for more chess content in the future. Hope you're all being safe. Have a good one.